sorry for the lighting. We just deal with it. But tomorrow morning, I'm going to Melbourne for the first time. We're going for flight facilities, me and Sam. It's just me and Sam going. I haven't been on a domestic flight in like years and years. I don't actually know how early I need to get to the airport, but best believe I'll just be going early. So since I'm mainly planning to go for two nights, I'm gonna try and get everything in this backpack. I don't know how well that's gonna go, but we're gonna make it work. So I've yanked the set out of my Depop box because I love it. I love the color and I feel like it'll be good for flight facilities. It'll be just so fun, but look at that. That is just terrible. Dirty, 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 but I have a solution. So you see, when you shove it into the boots, they're not gonna drag on the floor and get dirty. How d am I a genius or what? Am I a genius? Am I a genius? Am I just short? Or I could go with some just white pants. I'll probably wear those docks with this outfit. This is outfit number two. We've got same white pants because, you know, they just go with everything. I've got a little pink top here. This one's from Shopo. Thank you, Shopo. I love this top. And I've also got a little white bralette underneath. This will be my outfit for the plane. And here is the last outfit. I have worn this shirt five times since I got it last week. Hasn't been washed once. I am not a very smelly or sweaty person. And this blue mini skirt that I've had from Supre from, like, since I was, like, in year seven. This is the outfit for the Sunday because it's meant to be 28 degrees. Don't change Melbourne. I'm counting on you. Everything practically fits. Just need to put my makeup bag and my skincare bag. And that's it. I'm packed. Yeah. And now I need to go get a, what's it called, a Mikey? A Mikey card. A Mikey card. So this year is Ligon Street, and then this year is Faraday. We're at the world famous Brunetti. I've got a chicken pesto for focaccia. 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 That's right. I um, couldn't finish, so I shoved it in my bag. these big buildings. We are at Linda Street Station. I need to buy myself a Mikey card and then we can travel around. We're in the famous lane. I don't even know what it's called though. Hose Lane. We're in Hose Lane. Oh, it's like a sick. Wow. This is currently Brunswick Street. But like this is like a textbook example of a high street. It is. So you have all the houses off the side of the, the high street and then right down the street. Taquito. 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 Anyway. Taquito. Taquito. And um, I forgot to tell you guys this morning I threw on a thermal underneath because it is freezing. It is like 21 degrees tops today and I can't feel my legs. What's this one called? The Papas Pitas. The, the Papas, the Papas Squitos. <laughs> Guys, oh we God. just left the park and now we're going to go see if our room's finally ready. I think we had a nap for like two hours. Maybe one, no, one and a half. Yeah, it was like an hour. An hour and a half, maybe. A little bit better, but I have a headache now because I'm um, high fever. Oh, so welcome to our little room. Sorry about the light, it's a bit flashy, but this is our mini kitchen as soon as you walk in. This couch folds out into a bed, and then we've also got a bigger bed here. That's where Sam's gonna stay. I'm gonna stay on the couch. Got a little working desk. This will be my makeup desk. I'll reclaim it. I'll reclaim it. And then here. <laughs> Ooh, our beautiful view of Melbourne. Here's the shower, like the bathroom. Oh, just slammed the door in the toilet, as you do. Pretty, pretty nice. And how much was it per night for this place? So how much was it all up? 314 by two. So $167, no, $157. Something like that. Got a road beer to go. 
Wait, get the <sighs> We're going to Doc Pizza. Oof. Doc Pizza, right? Doc Pizza, gonna have the the best food you've ever seen in your life, hands down. Hands down. Look at that sunset. It is beautiful. We've got our Pinot Grigio and we've got the Doc Pizza as well. Oh my god. Very good. Two glasses of wine. <laughs> He's laughing at me because I told him dogs have accents. They, I swear to God, dogs have accents anyway. I was planning in my little bird brain, my little pea brain, that I would have two glasses of wine to warm up because it's bloody cold in Melbourne. And guess what? I'm free. I can't feel my legs. I can't feel my legs. Anyway, that pizza hit the spot. Hit That's this. It. We got leftovers, baby. And we took home, we took back the wine. I'm probably gonna vomit tonight. So I really gotta pee. I have never sat on an aluminium or metal toilet before. I am very suspicious of this one. As expected, it is very cold to sit on. Oh, their flash is on. Too bad. left the club because I was getting bashed when you're five foot tall and everyone's six foot tall around you their elbows are in line with your face and I kept getting bashed in the face and it was until someone hit me in my diaphragm so right here and I stopped breathing that's when I was like hey I gotta get out poor Sam I felt bad because he wanted to stay, stay long I wanted to stay longer but I was getting winded on the dance floor so had to go It is 9.30ish. I haven't really checked the time, but I'm gonna go get Sam some broca because he's been throwing up all night. Like every 20 minutes, he got up to throw up. I didn't realize he drank that much. I didn't realize, I didn't realize he was that unwell. It is also currently 13 degrees and I can't feel my legs and I can't feel my arms and I'm wearing thermals underneath. In fact, I'm wearing the same outfit as yesterday because this is how underprepared I was for this trip and didn't pack very well. Also, I got this text. So I think we lose a whole day here in Melbourne. We're gonna have to call up the flight center and see what they say. Oh, he's alive. I'm alive, fellas. Fucking, you know what? Sometimes life gets you down, but it's about how you get back up that really just makes you, you know, no matter how many beers you drink, no matter how many times you spew, you get up, you fucking face the day like a champ. This is such an adorable little lane. But Molly, is that Bob Marley? I don't know, that's embarrassing if it's not. So I thought I was going to Loon but ended up at Moon. And I thought I was getting croissants but I ended up getting donuts. So this one's cappuccino, this one's vanilla, and this one's um, cinnamon. Oh my goodness. Look at all them shoes. So I'm in the Melbourne Museum. Sam's having a nap on the grass because he's too hungover. Grow up, just kidding. He um, really needs it. So I've gone to the museum myself. Really exciting. I had my concession card on me, which is good. Um, so I was able to get him a free entry. So here I am. And right now I'm in the mineral section and then I'm gonna look at some dinosaurs, some history, some animals. About to get on my first train. The first train in Melbourne. Here she is.
back in the hotel room and I'm festival ready. I keep saying festival, I mean concert. I'm concert ready. And Sam's here in his sick Adidas shirt. Wow, how gorgeous. Green man's arms. Nearly got myself. Now green man's arms. Gonna have dinner. Then we're gonna head into City Mayabol. But it's spitting facts. Like, this is spitting straight facts. I am just dying to know what kind of fruit is a quaberry. I need, I'm dying to know. A quaberry is a queensberry. Oh. Got myself a green tea. I've woken up with a tiny cough. But. I only recovered two weeks ago, so I feel like I can't catch it. The colour of the sky here looks like the colour of a sunset in Sydney, which I think is really interesting because it's really warm toned here at 9am. And this kind of lighting you get in Sydney around 5.45. I don't know how, but we made it. We made it. Signing off now. We are back at Sydney Airport. It's a shame that we had to come back like a full day early. Did you have a good time? Mate, buddy, sensational. Signing off. Farewell. Goodbye.